thought you might find this interesting. This uh, ship over here called the Dole Ecuador and has a sister ship called the Dole Peru. It does a six day turnaround where it comes with a load full of bananas, drops them off, gets all these empty containers put back on it, goes back down to Ecuador, gets another load of bananas, and does this all, all in six days. Three days down to drop off and pick up, and then three days up and then drops off and picks up. And the list of the ship, you see how it, the gantry, it has its own, it runs the containers on and off itself by running them out on these gantries that fold back into the ship. It's really quite something when you think about the old days when you had stevedores that would have to go down into the holds of the ship and put the uh, bananas or whatever freight there was onto pallets and then bring them back up and put them on the dock and then other people would come with forklifts and put them inside. Now everything stays in the container and then gets moved by the container, puts right onto these guys right here, come and pick up the containers, and then outside trucks come and take them and load them up and take them away to be delivered. So I guess that's progress, but it's also put a hell of a lot of people out of work too. I thought you might dig that. I will, uh, Thank you all for your participation. No, I'm not wearing a hat. And I want to remind you, at June 14th, uh, we'll be running the uh, True Blood synopsis on uh, the Uncle Dave, World of Numero 10, or Uncle Dave X channel. And this one we'll be running on the X Uncle Dave X channel. They're noisy, these trucks, aren't they? Thank you all for your participation. I'll catch you back on it too. Bye now.